an airport in Japan is undergoing a dramatic change. Six and a half years from planning, two years since construction began, and we are delighted to finally unveil the new international departure area. Kansai International Airport. The best way to access cities such as Kyoto, Nara, and Kobe, Japan's premier tourist destinations. In September 1994, it opened its doors on an artificial island offshore as Japan's first 24-hour airport. With 3,500-meter and 4,000-meter-long runways, approximately 500 flights take off and land every day. As the gateway of the Kansai region, the airport connects the area with 68 international and 13 domestic cities. In anticipation of its 30th anniversary, Kansai International Airport has undergone extensive renovations to further enhance its convenience. Everything is clean. Yeah, it looks very new. Very modern also. The yeah. design is nice. It feels very welcoming yes. and comforting. A 30-year milestone. This program will showcase Kansai International Airport and its aspirations toward the future. One of the most striking features of Kansai International Airport are the beautiful curves of the main terminal building. It was designed by renowned Italian architect Renzo Piano. Renzo Piano once shared his professional philosophy. The idea of beauty is a very complex idea. It's not just about the visible part, it's also about the invisible. A heartfelt wish for all the many travelers to have wonderful journeys. A spirit of hospitality for them to better enjoy their time at the airport. and the meticulous work of the baggage handling staff, who align the handles of each luggage item, making them easier to retrieve. Since its opening, Kansai International Airport has had zero lost baggage, never misplacing a single item. This accomplishment has been celebrated including the airport being ranked number one in the baggage handling category of the World Airline Awards by the UK-based consultancy Skytrax. Hi, I'm Shizuka Anderson. I'm a TV presenter and reporter from Canada. And today I am in Kansai International Airport, which has been newly renovated. And I'm here to show you what makes this airport so special and innovative. While exploring the airport, something catches Shizuka's eye. Just near the entrance of the airport, you can see this great big poster for the Osaka 2025 World Expo. This is the official mascot for the expo named Myaku Myaku. It's made of red cells and blue water, and it's meant to represent regeneration and transformation. The Osaka Kansai Expo will be held over six months, beginning in April 2025. It is the first World Expo in the area since Osaka in 1970, 55 years ago. The Expo's theme is designing future society for our lives, focusing on contributions to coexistence between humanity and nature and a sustainable future. More than 160 countries and regions are expected to participate with an estimated over 28 million visitors. Kansai International Airport will serve as the gateway to this massive event. This is the freshly updated International Departures area that opened in December of 2023. 
As you can see, this area incorporates Japanese motifs like these beautiful koi fish swimming behind me, these paper lanterns, and the grassy flooring gives the impression that I'm standing in a traditional Japanese garden. One of the key features of the renovation is the expansion of the international flight area capacity. The blue area represents the existing international flight area. The area is being consolidated and expanded. When the renovations are completed in 2026, the total space dedicated to the international flight area will increase by 25%. Another great thing about the design of this area is that all of the boarding gates are in one straight line. And all of the boarding gate signs are very, very easy to see. So there's no chance of you not being able to find your boarding gate. The airport will feature unique areas, including stores selling Japan's world-renowned anime and game merchandise. There are lots of nice stores and places to shop, but in comparison with the rest of Japan, there are far more places to sit, which is very nice. Mm -hmm. So the contrast has kind of been nice for me. Um, it seems to be well ordered and the flow of traffic seems to be well managed. So a positive impression of this airport overall. The ones we met so far, very nice. Mm. Uh, Check-in staff and mm. the passport control, all very nice. Mm easy to get through mm. and they can understand us, which is, <laughs> which is great. In the 2023 fiscal year, Kansai International Airport surpassed 25 million total passengers. Automated check-in and self-baggage drop services have been introduced to promote fast travel, minimizing wait times. To answer demand associated with the expo and accommodate a larger number of international visitors, securing capacity and providing a comfortable airport experience are essential. Operations are managed by Kansai Airports, a joint venture between Japan's Oryx and France's Vanshi Airports. Co-CEO Benoit Duro says that being a Japanese-French joint venture allows them to strive for a unique excellence. We try to bring in some ideas from uh, foreign countries, what have been done in other, in other cities, in other airports, uh, and starting from the wonderful design by Renzo Piano. And we absolutely want to keep the specificities of Japan, the very high level of service, the cleanliness, all the omotenashi, the Japanese omotenashi and the know-how of airport operations from abroad put together. This is really, I think, the DNA of our company and what we are trying to achieve here in uh, Kansai Airports. The core philosophy is being upheld within the renovations. The main terminal building is 1.7 kilometers long. The airport is undergoing the largest renovation in its history while preserving the user-first philosophy of Renzo Piano. What I think is wonderful about the design of this airport is that the expansive use of glass in combination with the staggered layout of the floors makes it really easy to see exactly where you want to go and also to not get lost. Our work is not architecture for the sake of form, but architecture for people. The renovation is expected to be completed in the summer of 2026, transforming the airport into an even more beautiful gateway to the world. Another philosophy that Kansai International Airport preserves from piano is harmony with nature. Endless Sky is an art installation that moves with the wind blowing through the terminal. Piano requested the sculptor, Shingu Susumu, to create a design that would make the wind visible. 
Xingu is world-renowned for his artwork that is powered by natural energy. Piano also clearly emphasized harmony with nature from the beginning in the airport's design. To prevent noise issues, Kansai International Airport was constructed five kilometers offshore of the city. This 1981 project was the world's first plan for an offshore airport on an artificial island. Construction began in 1987. On September 4, 1994, the airport opened with the core philosophy of coexistence and mutual prosperity within the region. This is the ocean surrounding the airport. An underwater drone is being deployed. Seaweed grows densely all around the airport. Gentle slopes were designed when building the artificial island. Efforts were made to protect the marine environment by planting seaweed there. Otani Yuri has been involved in the seaweed bed project for many years. The latest survey verified 66 species of seaweed. In the 30 years since the airport opened, there has been continuous seaweed planting and transplantation, along with monitoring surveys to record their ecology. These cultivated seaweed beds have become the habitat for various marine life. An Asian sheep's head wrasse could be spotted from shore. The high-end Kijihata is also a part of this diverse ecosystem. Because the seaweed performs photosynthesis, it significantly reduces CO2 levels. We've recorded 103 tons of CO2 absorption over five years. We're very happy that the seaweed beds we planted for biodiversity are now not only contributing to decarbonization, but also CO2 reduction of the surrounding ocean. We have continuously challenged ourselves to maintain harmony between our structures and nature leading us to where we are today. We hope to further develop the ideas and results we've cultivated here and create an airport that will contribute to the future. Plans are underway to collaborate with neighboring cities to nurture the seaweed beds over a wider area. On this day, the seaweed grown around the airport was being harvested for transplantation to another location in Osaka Bay. Seaweeds such as wakame and sargassum were tied to ropes and transplanted to different locations. The local fishing industry also has high hopes for the expansion of biodiversity through growing the seaweed beds. Iwai Katsumi has been engaged in marine conservation in the region for many years. The spread of biodiversity can lead to the rise of new services and other initiatives that utilize it and boost the economy as a result. The expertise Kansai International Airport has accumulated over the last 30 years is quite valuable. I hope it will be used in a way that spreads to surrounding areas. I hope that the community will come together under the leadership of Kansai International Airport.
endeavors to pass on a beautiful and thriving sea to future generations continue. Around the world, frequent natural disasters, such as heavy rains and droughts, are being caused by climate change. In September 2018, Kansai International Airport suffered flooding damage due to Typhoon Jebi. Recovery efforts began right away, and the first flight was able to resume just three days after the damage. Two weeks later, the airport was fully reopened. This rapid recovery received praise both domestically and internationally. Japan is a country that has long battled with various natural disasters such as typhoons and earthquakes. So it's important for airports to take measures to protect the well-being and peace of mind of its users. This seawall is located on the east side of the airport. To prevent flooding from natural disasters like typhoons, disaster prevention measures have been strengthened. The seawall surrounding the airport was reinforced to prevent flooding. Construction continued over a span of three years to increase the height of the original seawall. We built up about six kilometers of seawall and added 4.5 kilometers of wave dissipating blocks after the typhoon in 2018. Approximately 40,000 wave-dissipating blocks were used to protect the airport. Blocks were carefully placed one by one, day and night, taking into account the aircraft flying nearby. The southern seaside of Kansai International Airport is known for its high waves. In addition to the seawall, we built a secondary tide barrier to further fortify against typhoons. The dual shields of the seawall and the tide barrier. Even if a typhoon of the same magnitude as the 2018 storm occurs, flooding damage would be prevented. This underground area used to house equipment for the airport's power supply system. During the 2018 typhoon, the water rose to the level shown in blue. The equipment was relocated to ground level in order to prevent power outages in case of future flooding. Ensuring the safety and security of passengers and facilitating an enjoyable journey until they arrive at their destination is the wish of all the staff working at the airport. Efforts to preserve the future of the environment are also underway. On this approximately 18 hectare site, a solar power generation facility named Sora Solar is scheduled to be completed in the spring of 2025. Sora means sky in English. Behind me are the actual life-size solar panels that are going to fill the fields out here at Sola Solar. They are absolutely massive. The electricity generated will be used within the airport. The Sora Solar facility will be capable of generating 25% of Kansai International Airport's annual power consumption. This is one of the shuttle buses that operates at the airport that does not use diesel fuel. I am here now at the hydrogen station located on the grounds of the Kansai International Airport. And this is a fuel cell bus that runs entirely on hydrogen. Hydrogen is a clean energy source that does not emit CO2. 
The airport has a large-scale hydrogen station and is working to expand the use of the power source. Hydrogen-powered fuel cell forklifts have also been put to use, and over 20 of them are operating within the facility. Ito Rika is involved in promoting the new energy at Kansai International Airport. Fuel cell forklifts run on electricity generated from hydrogen. They produce no exhaust gases. They have excellent performance with very low noise, no odors, and no particle emissions. Additionally, they have short recharging times and are highly efficient. This technology can significantly improve the working environment for staff on site. Furthermore, a partnership with the global aircraft manufacturer Airbus was announced in hopes of making hydrogen-powered aircraft a reality. The two companies will collaborate in terms of policy recommendations for the use of hydrogen for aircraft, create a roadmap for operations, and develop infrastructure. This staff member is visiting a restaurant in the airport. He is collecting oil cans. This is a popular barbecue pork bun shop here in Japan, and this is the oil left over from their cooking. This used cooking oil collected from restaurants and other tenants is being reused as fuel for vehicles. There are even plans to use it for aircraft in the future. About a 30-minute drive from the airport is the construction site for a factory to produce SAF, or Sustainable Aviation Fuel. SAF is a next-generation fuel, which, unlike conventional fuel made from crude oil, is a biofuel made from plants and used cooking oil. It can reduce CO2 emissions by approximately 80% compared to fossil fuels. Preparations are underway for large-scale domestic production. What are Kansai International Airport's goals for carbon neutrality? We and our group have set a goal to reduce greenhouse gas emissions and achieve net zero emissions by the year 2050. To reach this goal, we have set a specific target to reduce CO2 emissions by 50% by 2030. And there are a number of various decarbonization initiatives being carried out and planned. An airport en route to a beautiful future Earth. Another key focus is the digitalization of airport operations. This system can detect and analyze passenger congestion. Using 3D sensors to measure passenger movement in real time, it displays this movement as points. By visualizing congestions at check-in counters and security checkpoints, it becomes easier to make quick decisions for staff placement. So today our uh, ambition is to raise our uh, standards to a, a world-class airport, uh, including in our digital solution, so that uh, internal passengers, uh, when they go through uh, Kansai Airport, uh, can feel the same level of service, or better level of service that they will find in uh, other uh, major city in the world. When shopping at duty-free stores, 
you can pre-order products online. Just walk up to the counter and pick up your items without waiting. At this terminal in the duty-free area, you can even purchase products without having to walk around the store. Select the sweets you want. Take the receipt printed from the terminal to the cashier. And the staff will hand you your items. Despite the digitalization of the shopping experience here, it's great that you can still truly feel the warmth of the human connection when you receive your goods from the cashier. The digitalization of airport operations is crucial to providing a world-class experience. Making digital technology our ally will help us do our job better. By combining the excellent skills of our on-site staff with digital technology, we'll be able to deliver even higher world-class service. With the Osaka Kansai Expo fast approaching, Kansai International Airport will be a key hub for welcoming international visitors to Japan. It will drive further growth and globalization of the Kansai economy. Many visitors will be attending the Osaka Kansai Expo venues. It would be ideal if this terminal could be the first pavilion of the Osaka Kansai Expo. Osaka, Kansai, and Western Japan will continue to grow. Kansai International Airport will continue to remain a representative international airport of Japan and to be the gateway to Western Japan, which boasts some of the world's top tourist destinations. I want to create an airport that leads to a better future. I want to keep working to ensure passenger safety. We will work on environmental measures on a global scale. Toward the future toward being a truly beautiful airport. Upholding the philosophy of its architect, Renzo Piano.